I want you to view this as additional information that comes partly from uh, the conventional pediatrics realm, um, but also comes from my experience over the last 10 years or so. How am I interacting with the world? And you know, all those things. So when we put that whole picture together, I think that it makes sense. And then I want to tell you a little bit about my background and my story. I think it's always interesting, you know, to know where a person has come from. I just want to show you my evolution uh, from a conventionally trained pediatrician to a body talk practitioner. You know, it's quite a jump. I know that your mom has done tapping like this, right? She does tapping on your head and on your chest. Do you like it when your mom does that? Yeah. I'll bet. She does body talk, right, that's what it's called. You are absolutely right. I forgot that it was called that for a second. So my question for you is, do you think it would be all right if I do a little body talk? And I can maybe tap your head and tap your chest? Okay. Um, I want you to be able to use this information to have confidence in treating kids and of course to build your practice. So if any of you are not seeing kids or if you've been reluctant uh, if you've been reluctant to up until this weekend, hopefully after this weekend you'll include them um, and have more have more patients in your in your practice. If I can model for the parent the fact that for me as a doctor, now that I have energy and that, that term in my vocabulary, a lot of what's going on with your child is much more understandable to me. Of course that encourages them to just learn a little bit more of the basics so that they can in turn understand more of what's going on um, with their child. And also very importantly, if you have adults with issues stemming from childhood, like we all do. Um, some of the things, some of the principles that you're going to learn will be very beneficial to them and also to you in your own thinking, you know, as you frame what's going on with a person um, as part of their body talk evaluation. So how much energy she has up here, how much she has here, how much she has down there. And of course that energy distribution changes over time. And, you know, that can be day to day. It can be um, her home settings versus her school setting. This way of thinking or this perspective or the energy medicine system, it's completely compatible with everything else. You know, it's not an either or um, situation.